as a player who's kind of come through as a youngster, uh, what do you think has made it so successful? Um, I just think the, the the managers that we've had have, have given youth a chance, and it's it's something for a, a young boy to look up to and 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 know that the manager, if you're good enough, will, will give you a chance. So it's 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 a great club to be at and coming through, and and like I said, just knowing that you might get a chance if if you do well. It's not just about on the pitch as well, because um, the academy kind of talk about it. it's a lot about the values and the sort of characters they create. Yeah. Is that is that true? Yeah, I think so. They try and instill into you. Um, Good manners and, and stuff from the start, and and just just the way that you have to respect the place and, and everyone around here. So yeah, it's it's good. Obviously, lots of young players come through at the moment. We've seen Jack Sparks, Asher Collins in yeah. the first team. What have you made of those players? Have you been impressed by the standard that the academy keeps showing out? Yeah, it's, it's, it's what Exeter has, has been about. So it's um, yeah, you got young players coming through, and and another, another lot that started this season. So it's. Uh, it's it's really good. It's it's what the club desperately needs. So we've we've had a lot of high profile players go. So it's um yeah, it's, it's helping the club a lot. How much has it changed the setup around here since when you you were younger? Can you pick out many differences? Um just just the standard of everything really. Obviously this this building's still here. It's it's uh it's not the best, but look you look look at the state of the pitches now when I left here it was any any time any bit of rain it would be just a mud patch, so it was it's fantastic with the 4G down the bottom as well. It's, it's just added onto, onto what, what the club are trying to do in, in step forward. How much did it prepare you as a, as a person to kick on and play at that high level like the Premier League? Um, I just I just enjoyed it. Really. It was just just from from the start. It was like aiming aiming bringing me through from the youth team with with Raddy as well. Was, Raddy was a big part of this club and unfortunately left this this summer. So it's um yeah. Hot, playing under them was was tough, but it was enjoyable at the same time. So when we were doing well, it was uh, yeah, it was a good place to be. Of course, the club launched a new campaign to help fundraise for the academy. So I imagine you'd, you'd welcome to continue its progression, not just to sustain it, but to get better. Yeah, definitely. That's that's what the the club trying to do is, is step forward, and and we've got to take the, the small steps. But I'm, I'm sure that this this place with the staff and and everyone here, it'll, it'll move on quickly. And in terms of on the pitch, you played essentially recently as part of a back three. How have you, have you found that? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, a few clean sheets, so it's, it's been good. Um, top of league for now, which is which is a good start, is what we wanted. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we can continue. It looks like you've won a lot of praise as well, particularly that clearance off the line against Oldham. Now, how much are you enjoying that, that role at the moment? Yeah, <laughs> get him out of it. I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it, yeah. It's, um, it's good to be in a, a, a team with all these lads. It's, it's a great bunch of lads and, and the new boys that have come in and settled really quickly. And like I say, we can see it on the pitch, hopefully get a few more goals. But um, if we do our job at the back and keep keep some clean sheets, and that, that gives us a chance. And in terms of looking at the, the past five games in the league, what, what have you made of it? Obviously, it's been positive. What are the key components to it? Do you think? Um, I just think the togetherness in, in the whole group. Um, We've we've got a golf day today, which is which is going to help us again. So it's um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's brilliant. Uh, like I said, the the lads, uh, it's such a great group of lads here, and um, yeah, that's what I mean. People like that have to get involved. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's enjoyable. Aaron Martin said last week everybody's kind of really pushing for places defensive, defensively, making everybody raise their game. Is that, is that the case? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, um, Parks he started well. I'm unfortunate to get the the red card, but. Yeah, as has come in, done really well. Uh, he's had to, well, he started the season and then parts he came back in and and as has as has just worked hard and, and got back in. So it's uh, the defence. know you know you have to play well and else you're not in the team. And Matt's mentioned about there being a real character in the squad. I suppose that was shown on Saturday when obviously came back to two two and then go ahead and get that winner. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the first half we we played really well and uh, got the two goals up and unfortunately left let one in. Right, right on half time, which gave them the boost, and and they came out and got the second. So it was, it was tough. It was, a, it was a tough week, obviously, with all the travelling and and the the early hours. We got we got back here about four a.m. on Wednesday morning, which is which is tough. The, the travelling, obviously, it's it's a tough one. The the recovery is a massive massive part of it when you've got two two long away games in a row. So it's um, yeah, it was tough. We we may have got a bit leggy towards the end of the game, and they obviously got the two goals and. Yeah, like you say, a great character to come back and actually win the game, which we thought we deserved anyway. Is there anything in particular about this squad that really kind of makes you think they can kick on and keep progressing and be successful this season? Um, I, just, I just think the 
the um, the confidence that we've shown recently. Uh, obviously, losing losing a goal at the end of the Steve, uh, Swindon game, sorry, was was disappointing. They they did. I think they deserved the draw on, on the day. They they played quite well, but uh, we were just disappointed. We wanted we wanted maximum points from from our first few games, so it was it was disappointing to to let that one in. But yeah, the, the confidence that we've got from from being top, seeing us seeing ourselves top, still not playing our best football. We've got a lot more to come, and yeah, I think if we just keep keep the group as fit as we can and. Not as many injuries as last year, then we've got a hell of a chance. Obviously, it's still very early, I guess. It's just a case of being very grounded and taking each game as it comes. Yeah, definitely. We said that after the game. It's, it's a good start. It's, it's just a start. We are top, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. Um, it's a long way to go. I suppose there's always room for improvement. Do you feel this team can only get better, like, like you say, maybe score more goals? Yeah, I think so. Um, if, if we do our job at the back, we, we give our, our strikers a hell of a chance of winning the game for us. So it's. Um, yeah, it's exciting.